and welcome to this gag. I thought it was. I thought that was a chainsaw. It's just a bench. Try that again. Hello and welcome to this episode of Scarecam here on the Scare Chat Podcast YouTube channel. It's Mikey and Hannah, and we are here at Luna Springs in Digbeth, Birmingham. Um, first ever time here for anything, and it's the first ever time they've created a scare maze as well. Uh, we're here for the Meltdown Scare Maze press night. Uh, so a huge thank you to Luna Springs for inviting us here today. Uh, we have been gifted these tickets, so we really, really do appreciate that. Um, we don't know what to expect, do we? Um, I don't know what to expect. I know one of the creative minds behind it, so yes. I kind of know what I'm should expect yeah yeah so we, we've known James <laughs> who's uh, one of the creatives here uh, who's uh, been helped create in this attraction we've been going to his mazes for a decade now so Is it? yeah he knows his stuff he knows <laughs> his stuff um, yeah so uh, I'm excited to get in there uh, Makes me nervous. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm nervous but excited. Uh, it's an awesome location. Um, it's, I don't know the history of it as such, uh, but it's like an event space with drinks, food. Oh, um, beautiful like, food. I'm really nice. Some chili fries. Yeah, thanks for the nice. chili fries, guys. Um, but yeah, so we're really excited to get in. Uh, of course, we're doing a full podcast episode as well, so click that link below to check out the podcast with a full in depth review of the, tra- the attraction. Uh, and I've been told we can take some video footage within the attraction as well, so check it out here on Scarecam and we'll give you our first uh, uh, mini little review here on the, on the Scarecam YouTube channel. <laughs> on here, we'll take it on, on here, there we go. Uh, I've already tired from this season, it's only just started. Um, but yeah, apparently we've got a fuck Victor. Uh, so. Never met him. Never met him but we've got to fuck him. Uh, so we're going to go in a moment and let you know what it's like when we get out. Uh, not yet, no. No, we'll make sure you go inside when you go inside. We'll go, pussy, 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 pussy. Okay, we'll do. Okay, and if you find him, bring Send him back Wilson. out for me, okay? Milson. We'll Milson. Milson, yes, we all shout, Milson! Okay. No, don't Good screech time. it. That's why you ran away in the first place. No, but I need to find my pussy. I know you do. Quiet. Quietly. Milson, Milson, Milson. 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 I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Hopefully he's not being experimented on. Oh, fingers crossed. <laughs> okay. Wilson's dead. Wilson's dead. Okay, so. Let's go in. Um, yeah, mega excited. We can uh, get a few snippets here. Uh, I'm not sure if I have the light on. Uh, good for everyone else. We'll see how light it is in there. You still not found your No, car? Oh. still not find a map. You look inside, yes? We're looking fine. Nelson! Everyone say Nelson! 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 Nelson. Nelson. Perfect. Yeah. I thought you were saying pussy. <laughs> yeah. Nelson! 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 Off your phone, yeah. off your phone, Hannah. Getting told off. It's work. <laughs> it's work. <laughs> I'm working. Like Get off your phone. <laughs> Tell work to leave you alone. You can just take a seat on one of the benches as you go straight in. Thank you. Okay, so we're allowed to film. We're not going to use the light uh, to try and make it as authentic as possible. If you cannot move around the facility on the we advise you to leave immediately. Luke? Okay, Alan and Luke. Mikey. And Mikey, got it. Have you never been on this floor without a toy before? Oh, good. And then are you into science? Oh, what is a boy? You can come here if you're not into science. 
cat which is currently missing in its facility so find the cat bring her back here or you will break my daughter's heart and you don't want to break my daughter's heart genuinely could give a shit right let's do some security checks let's see what we've got here you come on come forward arms up got any weapons anything like that no. any food or drink anything no. you shouldn't have no. You, the quiet one at the back, come on, arms up. What are you packing in there? Got anything I need to know about? No. Any dildos, butt plugs? No, <laughs> you, come on, you're next, arms up. What you've got in there? Any of them little nipple tussles that I like? Yeah, right. Okay, all right, turn around, face the other way. Ah, you want to just bend down and touch your toes, sunshine? <laughs> right, let's see, I'm going to send someone in front. Right, you, you're going to go in at the front, all right? Get ready to follow her in before you all go, right? One word of advice to all of you. Follow the instructions and go where you're supposed to go and do what you're supposed to do. Because if you don't, we will fuck you right up. All right? Go on. Come on, you lot. Off you go. You wait your turn! <laughs> Unbelievable! I don't see or hear any volunteers, so I'll just uh, you volunteer yourself. <laughs> yes. Go on! Would you like to touch? You 
already know that it's Mr. Victor sent you. Yes. I see so you know. Oh, I put your hands Yes, yes, yes. Keep yes. going! You yeah, have the ears! So Go awesome. on! You have ears, you can hear me! Go on!
I am Victor, and this is the beginning to a new era. Obviously, the main uh, bar is the Bacardi Bar because it's sponsored by Bacardi. Uh, thank you for all the work you do I with bats. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, I had a pina colada as I first came in. Hello. And yeah, it was absolutely delicious. We've got senior puppy. No. Not yet. So we're looking to keep an eye out for Milton. The cat's dead. Milton's dead. dead. Uh, don't, don't. <laughs> right. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have this beer break and let you know what we thought of the maze because that was epic. Okay, so we have just come out of Meltdown uh, after of course we got our drinks. Um, I but took a photo with the bat. A little photo with the bat. Uh, first up, that was really bloody good. Yeah. That was, I didn't know what we were expecting, but that exceeded all expectations. Yeah. That was really, really good. Uh, of course, we'll go into more depth on the podcast, so check that out below. Um, but for a few snippets here, what blew me away first of all was the theming. Well, I kind of knew to expect that a little bit. When we got James involved. Just because I know James is on the team, yes. I know that his set and theming and his imagination is always just mm, on yeah. point. 
Um, mm. But mm, mm. <laughs> but that was insane. I felt yeah. like we'd gone back in time to scares of past. And I was here for it, I yeah, loved it. Yeah, it was really, really good. It was really long as well. It was about 15 minutes long, that was. Uh, the sets in there are absolutely stunning, beautiful. You had sparks, you had smells. The finale section, they had a big reactor. It looked like something from Doctor Who. I felt like it I was, was in a TARDIS. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, if, if you... That would not look out of place at a, a Halloween Horror Nights, at a Merlin Park, at a Europa Park, honestly. And to think... Uh, not uh, not to knock the place because it's really awesome. I'll be back again here at uh, Luna Springs, but it is an outdoor nightclub as such yeah. with a scare maze. You can kind of think they can get away with some black sheets and some strobe lights. They don't. They've got so much more in there, yeah. and the actors in there as well. Some really cool, intense scares. Some great theatrical storytelling. They're a great level of heights. At one point we were walking through a room and we felt like it was an empty room and then someone was hiding under a like tablecloth over a table. Yeah. And it wasn't just a bat one scare, it was prolonged yeah. and then she made sure she kept and she went to go. Um, she made sure she hit everyone in that room, it was great. Yeah, it was so, so good. Yeah, and also what I liked is that we were in one room and you could see the scene next to you yeah. through a glass and it was smart. it was really smart the way they did I it. I thought it was clever because we were in the room and there was no one in the next room so the actor was interacting with the glass yeah. which we thought was the like whole the point scare. of it, yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. that would be a scare there and then when we went round we were in the other room not only is it a scare, it's a great way for the actors to know where we are. There we go. To speed a group along if they need to or hold them if they need to. Absolutely. It worked so well. It was so put to well put together. Like I say, we go into more depth on the podcast, but another highlight for me was the massive vibrating floor in the huge corridor. Again, <laughs> that was an epic. The, the scale of this maze is huge. Yeah. When you think about it, it's just tucked in this, these like arches, which are absolutely stunning, by the way. Um, but you don't anticipate it to be the beast that it is and it's an absolute beast so there we go like i say check out the podcast to hear a more in-depth review about the attraction a huge thank you to luna springs for inviting us up here today we've absolutely loved it it's great to see james on genius creations as well there's a little mini interview with him on the podcast too so go and check that out um but yeah really blooming loved it so a huge thank you thank you to you guys for watching and let's get scared bye